it's heartbreaking for leaders. No, nobody wants to alienate. And when you don't have the tools, you don't have the, you don't have the time to reflect. You don't, you don't know what you're doing wrong necessarily. It starts with self. It all starts with self. The it, it, life is a, is a mirror reflecting back to us who we are and, and how we're showing up accordingly. And so that trust that we talked about, it, it starts with self, trusting ourself. And trust is about being consistent. We need to learn if we're going to be trustworthy, we need to learn how to be uncomfortable and how to be challenged and how to feel ill-equipped and how to feel under-resourced and how to hear things we don't want to hear and how to be afraid, but show up. And it, even more than a but, it's an and, and be in all those places and acknowledge them and show up in a way that people can learn that we can be with hard things, that we can be with hard things and there's no impact on them. And that's what trust is. I trust the leaders who can be with hard things when I, I bring them hard things or the environment brings them hard things or results aren't going well or there's bad news or the, leaders who can be with hard things and be real about it and feel it and be with it and respond in such a way to bring everyone together, use them as, as a building, as a bridge, rather than a scorched earth <laughs> approach is where the trust is. The trust is in consistency of showing up in a way that's believable in a consistent manner. And the environment is shifting. So things aren't always pleasing. Trust is easy when things are pleasing. Trust is easy when results are up consistently quarter over quarter. Trust is easy then, but it's when things are not going well, when something at home happens, when you get the phone call about something at, at school with your kids or a loved one, or again, results didn't materialize. You know, if you are, you know, a, 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 a more senior leader, has a change in direction and all the work that you've been doing is now out the window. No matter what it is that is unpleasant, which is, is, is part of the deal, we're not here to be appeased. <laughs> like we're not here for an all-inclusive, we're here for like the, the, the wilderness adventure. It's things are gonna be unpleasant and how we are with unpleasant things and hard things, the way we show up to those is what builds the trust. So emotional intelligence, it starts with self and the, building that awareness and that relationship with how to be with hard things, to honor them, not dismiss them, not repress them, be with them and choose to show up in a way that connects versus alienates. That's what builds trust. And that's why everything starts with self, being with hard things and, and feeling going to all those places and being okay, ultimately knowing I trust myself and on balance, I'm okay. I like myself. I still have to learn things. I can't know all the things, be all the things, do all the things, and that's okay. And once I've accepted that, then I can get the next best idea from someone else. It doesn't have to be me. It's just freedom and peace and space giving that we can invite others into it and to step into it. It's beautiful and so rewarding. They have the answers inside, and it's the path to knowing self.